One of our favorite sights when diving in Florida are schools of blue fish. We make a quick descent down the mooring line and spot the first serendipity of the dive. Dozens of blue and midnight parrotfish school near the sand on the starboard side of this great wreck. The blue parrotfish are solid bright blue. The adults have a distinctive hump above the snout, creating a squared off head. Midnight parrotfish are darker navy blue with bright blue markings on their heads. These are not tiny reef fish. The midnight parrotfish grows up to three feet in length and the blue parrotfish grows up to four feet. And this is where you'll find those big specimens, wrecks in South Florida. Other divers arrive, but rather than descend on the port and approach from the sand, they descend over the starboard side, causing the school to flee into open water. Schools of fish surround the wreck. It's an oasis in an underwater desert of sand. Here we see a large school of yellow-tailed snappers. They will school near the protection of the wreck unless frightened off. Time to penetrate the interior of the wreck. There is a large deck opening midship and plenty of exit routes in this section. This is a great wreck dive, suitable for many skill levels. We are here in almost perfect conditions in early August when the winds are calm and the water temperature is 84 degrees. As we enter the interior rooms, ambient light fades and we rely upon our torches to guide us. Some of the interior rooms have no direct access to the outside, but light sources could be seen in every room we explored. This deck is about level with the sand outside. A midnight parrotfish swims past on the starboard side, our blue friends are starting to return. Emerging from below deck, we cross midship. And we descend to the engine room. The other divers must have zipped through here and missed the biggest fish of the dive. A juvenile goliath grouper. A quick alert, there's something very special ahead. The Goliath grouper is the largest fish on the Caribbean reef. Florida is their home and one of the last sustaining habitats for these beautiful giants. Goliath grouper can grow up to eight feet in length and weigh hundreds of pounds. Finding glassy sweepers on a wreck is not unusual, but we found a lot of glassy sweepers on the ancient mariner. With illumination from a torch, the copper-colored shiny fish dart about in large schools. A side room literally filled with glassy sweepers. And thousands more just beyond the corridor that we disturbed. We continue to explore the interior of the ancient mariner. We ascend by moving to a higher deck. Hatches and ladders for crew only. We head to the midship opening on this deck. At one time, sailors and passengers walked up these stairs and gazed out at the beautiful Caribbean Sea. As we continue to explore the rooms on this level, we again run into more glassy sweepers. While all is calm on the wreck today, there may be current and changes in visibility. Our friend the bivalve, like a clam or oyster, is a filter feeder, cleaning the ocean for everyone. Another bluefish of Florida is the blue angelfish. We'll go around the other side and see if he goes in. There he is. As we move higher on the wreck into shallower water, more ambient light is available, as shown by the growth of sponges and corals. Well, look what just popped his head out, a large green moray eel. He's between decks, 
Let's take a look from below. He's a nice large specimen and an added bonus to a great dive. Below us in the sand, fish are schooling around other fragments of the wreck. Above, another school circles us. Below, the blue parrotfish return. We're the last divers on the wreck. This wonderful wreck holds out one last treat for us. An octopus. The octopus is the master of disguise, blending perfectly with both color and texture of his surroundings. Color can change instantly. Easily seen against the cabin wall, thickly lined with sponges and cup corals, our little friend looks for a new hiding place. It's time to ascend. What a dive! Schooling blue and midnight parrotfish, thousands of glassy sweepers, a goliath grouper, and a large green moray eel, and an octopus. You can be sure that we'll be back again real soon to Pompano Beach to dive the wreck of the ancient mariner.